Welcome to Ignited Research. With this Ignite-inspired video series, we aim to build stronger connections between learning science and instructional practice. In this installment, we talk to educator Patrice Bain about how retrieval practice turned her teaching and her students' learning around for the better. You probably already know that the best way to get information into long-term memory is to retrieve it, or to periodically recall it or bring it to mind. This is why many of us mentally rehearse information that is important to remember. Storing information in long-term memory is one step in the process of learning, and this same cognitive mechanism of retrieval works to help students learn too. Patrice Bain, former educator, was first introduced to the concept of retrieval practice when she took part in a research study and she quickly realized that all of the most successful teaching practices in her classroom, in fact, had one thing in common, retrieval. Patrice, tell us a little bit about your first experience with retrieval. I came up with an idea of mini quizzes. For my mini quizzes, I would take whatever we discussed in class at the end of the day, and I would just put it on little slips of paper, cut up the slips of paper and put it in a little basket. And the following day, I would simply randomly choose five. And so anything that we had discussed the previous day was fair game. The students didn't know what was going to be asked. I had an idea of what would be asked, but it would be different for every class. And I found that this is where the students had to retrieve or pull out this information. And although this sounds like such a simple strategy, it was a game changer. Were you worried about students retrieving the wrong answer? In order for students to retrieve information, they needed to make judgments of learning. Do they know it or do they not know it? As students are retrieving information, there has got to be feedback that allows for the students to understand that yes, they got it right, or no, they didn't. When I do the mini quizzes, as soon as we have finished them, I go over the answers. I also collect them. If there's a couple questions that are frequently missed, I see that, oh, I have some focus for covering that the next day. And then as I hand the mini quizzes back the following day, I've marked on the paper, if it was incorrect, what the correct answer was. And instead of an entrance ticket, we go over them again. So they have several chances to get this feedback. Putting these power tools, this research, this evidence-based learning into my classroom, it was the game changer. Students look forward to coming into a room. They feel success. Decades of research on memory has shown that the simple act of bringing information to the fore of our minds reinforces memories and increases the chances of us being able to recall that information weeks and even months later. This type of strong connected memory is the basis of learning. This finding used to be called a testing effect. Taking a test led to longer lasting learning of the tested content than simply learning the content or even studying for a test. And newer research has found that it's the act of retrieving the information that drives this effect. So retrieval in learning situations other than tests also has the same results. As education researcher Dr. Pooja Agarwal put it, when we think about learning, we typically focus on getting information into students' heads. What if instead we focus on getting information out of students' heads? Retrieval practice is easily embedded into and supported by blended, personalized, and mastery-based learning. Teachers can embed retrieval prompts and immediate feedback throughout a class or activity, even when students' answers are not formally recorded or scored. Students can make judgments about their own knowledge and record their answers to retrieval prompts. This can eventually become a content guide for revising or studying. Technology applications can be used to create and administer all sorts of retrieval activities, like mini quizzes or retrieval cards. Thanks for watching and look out for additional Ignited Research videos coming soon. You can find more free resources like this one at the Learning Accelerator.